So this video is heavily inspired by this girl who without her I wouldn't have realized that I could even do something like this. I just watched her video and it was super cute and I was like oh I know HTML and CSS like I'm, I've been learning it these past few months and I've been painfully getting through JavaScript. I I'm actually struggling with JavaScript quite a bit but um, I prefer Python like not that they're really comparable but Unfortunately, the browsers use JavaScript, so I uh, I had been painfully getting through JavaScript, and I figured this, like, I'm a person that like learns by doing, so I'm like, how hard can it be to make this desktop app? What I thought was maybe gonna take me a few weeks ended up taking me like, I want to say like almost three months. I don't have an exact start date, and I didn't, you know, like. I, on and off whatever but I want to say almost three months two to three months so thanks for that and um I just want to kind of like her video is super cute I recommend it please go watch it but uh, I had to figure out a lot of things like uh and I wanted just to put this out there like if you're trying to like trying to figure this out I just want to put this out there so you don't have to go through so much pain like I did. So I had to figure out what I wanted to make and I absolutely stole her idea of this pixel aesthetic. Apparently there's like this whole subgenre of like girly pixel aesthetic type applications, like applications and I wanted to join that so I just that's where I went with it and like I always like like in my professional life or whatever like I'm a graphic designer and motion designer and all that so I I'm always like keeping in mind like the target audience and I decided the target audience is me I want the this app needs to look cute to me this is like a therapeutic app for myself in her video she had made like a like a cute timer app for eggs such a cute and fun idea I am like trying like to meditate more often and I constantly like need a timer so I was just like oh I could like combine some of my like the things that are important to me and make like building off of that timer idea like I'm just gonna make a meditation timer I mean the functions all the same but you know like I the purpose of this was meditation so I wanted to like when you hit start it has like rain or something and it like it's a relaxing app when you open it but then of course like i have to be extra and i'm like oh but it would also be cute if i could like drop my notes in the app and just have like a cute quiet aesthetic app like just to type my notes in or whatever like my mind my like just to journal in so that's when I was like, okay, I'm going to expand this project a little bit and have the two functions. And that's kind of the reason why this app ended up taking way longer than I thought it would ever take. So once I knew like what I wanted to make, I hopped into Pinterest um, and just found like cute things to kind of inspire me and figure out like what the aesthetic was going to be. And then I like, just for a little more backstory, like I went to art school and everything like that, and I took a UI UX course, web design course. So I vaguely remember the process of how to build an app like on like Adobe XD and stuff like that. This is actually like my first time using Figma because I'm refusing to pay for Adobe anymore. So this is the first time that I've ever used like Figma, like actually like seriously. So I figured this would be a good time to practice my Figma and, and like layout skills and everything like that. So I vaguely understood the design process for building an application and I knew I wanted to make everything myself. Like I could pull assets from whatever since this is just like a passion project but 
I decided like let's have fun with this like I'm gonna draw everything I'm going to I'm gonna I've never made pixel art ever in my life so this was a whole another journey and like just so I know like I'm on the journey of just trying to be more creative and just having fun and not always making things for just work and money purposes so I, I felt like this was a really good project just to relax and have some fun with. And if you're looking for ways to find more creativity in your life and fill up your creative bucket again and your drain, subscribe to my new newsletter. We'll figure this out together. Now it's time to hop in the Figma. So like I mentioned, like I haven't used Figma really at all, like just a little tinkering, but it was really easy to get the hang of it. Like if you're familiar with Adobe Illustrator, it's pretty much like that. I had taken a lot, like it took me a little bit to decide whether or not I even wanted to bother prototyping. I know she did in the, in her video, but oh man, it just seemed like a lot of work and honestly it took three-ish weeks to do it but it was on and off so it really didn't take that long um i'm glad i did i don't know what i was thinking like please like try to like because i took my like design like sketch whatever and then went to figma with it as you should i couldn't even imagine trying to code this thing from my memory or whatever and my mental memory is not even that great anyway so yeah, uh, I found this extremely helpful, please spend some time doing it, and I learned a new skill, I learned Figma, and it was a lot of fun, like this is actually probably the most fun part of the whole project. <laughs> So do you guys know that meme that goes like, like where the designer or whatever is like all happy or whatever, then the programmer's like super depressed and like stressing? Like that was me. Like I, as soon as we, I like shifted over to the design brain, I was like, oh my gosh, what have I gotten myself into? Because I never, I've only ever like copied like other people's designs like like to code like for web design practice or whatever like front end practice i never made anything myself and i don't know i just real I, um i had and i especially have never made anything that required like interaction like using javascript or anything so i <laughs> i realized uh there's some some parts of my design that are quite interesting when it comes to coding it um i was very upset with my past self but we got through it so in the video she uses electron js and i was like great this is gonna be the best framework for me like or whatever i'm not really familiar with frameworks and all that so um what I did, how I kind of approached this is I just made this as if it was going to be like on the web and then I figured I could just figure out how to package it or like wrap it with like Electron later on. And I did end up running into some issues just as a side note, Electron does not like, not as a side note, if you're going to do this, Electron does not support prompts. Prompts. It supports alerts, but not prompts. So uh, you should know that ahead of time. I did not know that ahead of time.
I couldn't believe like even with using like obviously I use ChatGPT and DeepSeek and all that like the whole time in my development because I didn't know exactly what I was doing. The JavaScript was quite, quite, quite the beast. And yeah, uh, the timer logic was particularly hard for me. It took me like, even with the help of ChatGPT, it took me, I think that part took me the most amount of time to figure out, like just figuring out how to like logically create a timer. chakra music keeping the vibes up you know um i always get like most of my like uh what you call it like flow state or whatever i get i get, I tend to get in the flow state like really late at night or like early morning or whatever you want to call it and um yeah that's why i like to stay up until like two three in the morning just coding um but i don't do this every day i do this like other day or every every few days or so like um because i have a bunch of other things i need to be doing other responsibilities but it, um you know like if this is the life of a coder i i'm glad i went into art and design instead <laughs> so yeah i was starting to lose it a little bit around this time but it really wasn't that bad. I mean, in hindsight, it wasn't that bad, but in the middle of it, like things would just keep breaking. Like, it's like torture. It's like every time you think this should run, it breaks. And you're like, I have no idea how it breaks. You ask ChatGPT, they don't get it. You ask DeepSeek, he don't get it. It's just like, yeah, you start to go a little crazy, but we're getting close to the end here. Eventually, I finish getting all the logic together. Um, just like she did in the video, she like started by just doing the logic first and then adding her styles and all the layout and everything. That's the same process I did. Um, and then at the end, I like added like all the electron elements and everything. And for the most part, the transition over, I wish she kind of talked a little more about Electron.js, but um, the transition over to Electron.js was relatively harmless. There were some things in the code that I had to like kind of rethink. As I mentioned, one of those was the pop-up. So I basically had to go back and make custom pop-ups. instead of relying on like the prompt feature in JavaScript. Another thing you should know is like, if uh, like, well, when you go, you're gonna have like another JavaScript file you're gonna have to make. And like one will handle like all your front end JavaScript interactions. So like the stuff you've been working on. And then the other one is gonna be like, uh, it's gonna like handle like what Electron does when it opens, like all the back end stuff essentially. So that was learning curve and just kind of fixing some functions to work with in this new system. But it was relatively painless of a transition, and that probably the transition over to Electron from the and like the wet, de wet desktop app probably took maybe maybe a week
so crazy. Like, I cannot believe, like, I actually stuck through this whole thing. Like, look. There it is. And like, it, it's an actual app. Like, I made that. And no, I, I didn't really have an icon in mind. I just obviously, I, I took what was here. Made it the icon. And now I'm noticing that all the OS icons or whatever, they got the, oh, my screen's dirty. But yeah, they got the like rounded corners and then that's really bothering me. But maybe in the future update. So yeah, that's how I figured out how JavaScript works and how I made uh, my first desktop application ever. It was super fun, even though it did not seem like I was having fun, but I did have a lot of fun. Like each day was a new logic puzzle. So um, yeah, and y'all can download it if you want. I'm gonna leave it in the description down below. I I put it on my GitHub, so if you want to download it and you think it'd be useful to you, you can download it right now. And um, yeah, just thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed this mess. I already have some other ideas for what I could code next, like maybe, like maybe a like a game. I think I want to do a game. I think it'd be really fun. I might regret those words later, but right now that sounds like a lot of fun. But if you think that sounds cool, if you like art, design, and creativity and all that, please subscribe. I'm trying to build up people, other creatives, and make a community of creative people and people who just like making and learning things. So please subscribe. I'd love to have you and I hope you have a good one. Have a good day.